Well, yep, okay, got the bike wheel actually in the road. <laughs> Look at the legs on that thing. AI is making a massive amount of noise at the moment. Um, Photoshop's no different, it's got its new generative fill AI. Uh, there's lots of stuff on YouTube at the moment about how well it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, for me, I'm just gonna see if I can push the boundaries. I'm not gonna do any tutorials on how to use it at all. All I will say is that it won't work on the normal Photoshop, it'll work on the Photoshop beta. So just make sure you download Photoshop beta for it to work. Let's have a look at what I can push generative fill AI on Photoshop. So I'm gonna kind of do some really strange things and see what it comes up with. All right, let me select the whole format here and in generative fill, I'm just gonna type in something. Let's do something first. So let me just do, how about a, a sheep riding a bicycle? Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, okay, that's interesting. Holy crap, what else have we got here? <laughs> oh my god. Well, yep, okay, got the bike wheel actually in the road. <laughs> Look at the legs on that thing. Oh my god, that is freaky. Well, okay. Interesting. All right, let's pick uh, 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 another one. All right, let's do a cityscape scheme. So futuristic uh, city getting invaded by aliens. Let's generate that. Very abstract, it's like abstract art for this. Okay. Yeah. No good. All right, what else do we want to try here? A. All right, let's try a person getting rained on by bananas. All right, let's generate that. Whoa. Okay, let's try. Oh, wow, actually, what I've found is the eyes aren't too bad on this one, but it struggles with the eyes on humans, but that's not too bad. Oh, wow, okay, and that's not too bad. Fingers, wow. Okay, you can see the finger on his left hand there. Hmm, interesting, okay, but not too bad. What about um, a horse driving a car? Oh, whoa, look at his eye on that. That's freaky. Let's see what else it's got. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Uh, oh, what the f oh my god, that is freaky. Look at her eyes. Oh, look at the arm on the steering wheel there. Oh my god, that freaks me out. Unbelievable. Okay, and that's. No way. Okay. Try something else here. Um, a puppy um, baking a cake. Puppy baking a cake. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's quite cute. <laughs> That's really nice. The puppy's eating the cake there. That's cool. Actually looks really... That's amazing, actually. That's a good shot. Wow, pleasantly surprised by that one. Whoa, wow, look at the fat rolls. That's a bit freaky. And then the last one. Yeah, that's missing a leg. Is that right? We're missing the front leg. 
on that thing and that nose, ooh, it doesn't look quite right. Wow, okay. But that first one, that's, <laughs> that's not bad. Raining fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables. All right, raining fruit and vegetables, let's see. Wow, that's pretty nice. Well, that looks a bit freaky on top of that capsicum there, but generally speaking for fruit and veggies, all three of those images are not bad. Okay, fruit and veggies, I'd give, generally speaking, a tick for the generative fill AI. That's really interesting. A wizard casting a lightning bolt from the top of a tower. A wizard casting a lightning bolt from the top of a tower. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa, look at his face. That's weird i have noticed with a lot of these um when i've been playing around the quality ain't that great especially on faces which we know and, and hands it's always struggles with those but even when it's filling other images that i've done and it's filling out the space uh, with something else that's quite soft i don't give that one a pass that looks all right to start with but then you you know, like she's got the wand, I suppose, but that's coming out of her hand here. And then her teeth, well, it doesn't look that great. Oh, it's not too bad, but yeah, no good. Third one, oh, look at the face on that. Oh my God. That's freaky. And the hands. I don't mind the concept of her standing on top of a tower with that lightning bolt, I suppose, but that's uh, quite freaky in general. Let's, let's do a horse driving a racing car. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know where the horse is on this first image. Looks like there's something coming up on the second. Oh, wow, that has a piece of like conceptual art. There's two horses there. That's uh, interesting. And then the third one. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's actually not bad. It is a horse driving a racing car. Okay, <laughs> that one a tick. That's crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, let's, 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 <laughs> okay, right. let's do something else. Let's do a racing car, a racing car, driving a horse. Driving a horse. Let's do a horse, right? Okay, a racing car, driving a horse. Here we go. Okay, whoa. Look at the helmets on that. I don't even know what that is. The hell is that? These are some freaking. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, the horse facing backwards. Uh, that's just quite freaky. But uh, yeah, okay. Nice. Uh, let's try a person made of a piece of fruit. Payson made of celery. I don't think celery is fruit though, is it a vegetable? No, oh, it's gone a face. It's not too bad. Wow, look at that second one. It's more lettuce than celery, but that's <laughs> actually not bad. And the third one, I have no idea what that is. It looks like an O and a C or something like that. But that second image of that portrait is that's not bad at all, actually. It's surprised me on that one. 
An airplane made of bananas. Uh, it's like a balloon more than anything else. And then this comes out as a second image here. Just looks like a banana with... I've got no idea what that is. That's actually taken it to the next level. That's actually not too bad. It's a banana airplane. Okay. Two monkeys on a swing, hey? So we go two monkeys on a swing. Yeah, okay, that's quite reasonable. Whoa, well, those nipples on that, there and that monkey, that's a bit weird. Second one. <sighs> wow, a kid gotta give it that. There's a couple of bits and pieces that you go, Aranix buttocks there looks a bit soft and a bit weird, but at a glance, you probably would just pass that off. Wow, okay, that's actually not too bad. Just oh, the monkey there that's got under its chin, that's a bit weird, but generally speaking, that's actually, that's okay. Okay, there you go. All right, let's do a spider wearing roller skates. All right. Oh, that just looks like a kid's drawing. That's nothing. No, it's try. <laughs> I've got the little feet on it. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, it looks an okay spider, but it's... Yeah, okay, interesting. All right, done. Next, a woman with cameras for hands and um, cakes for feet. Just bizarre. Let's see what it does. Well, that's not what I expected, but it actually looks not too bad. The camera is really weird. Look at that camera. That just looks bizarre. Uh, it looks like a bizarre camera. Anyway, but generally speaking, the first glance looks all right. Whoa. <laughs> Look at those fingers. What is going on there? One, two, three, one, two, sort of five, and then a little bit of a thumb. That's bizarre. Let's try to render a camera or digital SLR. That looks weird. The face doesn't look too bad, and the hair looks amazing. The... <laughs> look at those feet. That just looks weird. Man, it cannot do a camera. It just cannot do a camera. Okay, done. Next. Let's do a giraffe surfing a large wave. Giraffe surfing a large wave. Hmm. Okay, that looks a bit weird, but the actual water and the whitewash is not too bad. It's taken the concept pretty literally and given us something that's okay. Wow, this third one's actually not too bad. You can tell it doesn't belong together, but actually not too bad. Yeah, interesting, okay, I'll give that one a pass. Let's do an ant wearing a spacesuit. An ant wearing a space suit in space. Let's do it in space. Generate. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. It's in the space and it's an ant inside a spacesuit, I suppose. So that's okay. Wow. <laughs> Look at its bugs here. Uh, it's, sort of, it's got an ant for hair as well. That's interesting. And oh, it looks like a little child's drawing or something, like an illust illustrated book. That's actually not too bad, that one. So it's not too bad, Dave, but. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right, let's do something horror. Let's do uh, clown 
with knives for fingers um, with an evil grin. Okay, definitely no knives for fingers on there. It's not an evil grin, but the teeth look. Yeah, that's, that's the first one. Second one. That's just weird. It sort of melds two, the two fingers together. And there's no knives for fingers. Actually, that just doesn't look too bad, that third one. Look at the eyes straight away. It's just not too bad. There's one, two, three, four. There's five fingers, and they're rendered okay. The thumb's a bit long. The teeth are a bit... Yeah, but given it's a clown face, it's you can sort of get away with it. That's actually not too bad. It's actually not bad at all. Let's just do an elephant riding a bicycle. Elephant riding a bicycle. Um, yeah, average for first one. Second one's a bit. Weird. And the third one, wow, that is, I suppose, an elephant riding a bicycle. Just bizarre, some of this stuff. Oh, I've got one. Let's just do, um, let's do this. Let's test it. Let's test it. Uh, an artificial intelligence. Um, making artwork an artificial intelligence making artwork this will be interesting hmm that's interesting wow okay I wonder if these are self portraits the yeah, second one is not too bad not that great third one I don't mind the third one either that's actually not the first one here and then the third one not too bad you can see the fingers on the first one here, not great. It's done, but it's interesting, I suppose. Let's do a football with arms and legs. A football with arms and legs. <laughs> what? The? <laughs> it's, it's football with arms and legs. Whoa. That second one's a bit weird. Hey, it's a football with arms. That's amazing. It's like a mascot. That's pretty cool. I like that one, actually. Hmm. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's do two horses holding hands on a park bench. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> They've got uh, their hands sort of coming out of its head. It's tried. And that's not sort of the same as the first one, really. Yeah, that's no good. All right, let's do the last one. Six whales riding a school bus. Find out a school bus um, during sunset. Six whales, six whales riding a school bus during sunset. Well, there's some whales there on a sunset and it's okay. And that must be trying to be birds. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's eight something. There's a school bus in water. Okay, but I can't see any whales there. And there's a bus in water again, but no whales. So, eh, didn't really get that one right at all. So I think for me, um, <laughs> this is a bit of fun. I just want to push to see what happens, but um, interesting to see where the technology goes. You know, you can give thumbs up and thumbs down for what it generates, for what you ask it to. So I imagine that 
over the years it's going to get better and better um, you know as it generates its database of knowledge on this stuff um, i did play around with this over the last few days and i'll show you some of the images that it's done actually quite well and you go wow okay that's i cannot believe that's just some ai and it's, it's like i've just done some blank screen and i've just typed in for it to you know produce something so uh, interesting. Um, here's the last bit of images that actually rendered okay from what I can see as well. So, all right, talk to you soon. Bye.